Happy Read Across America Week. My name is Abby Chestnut and I'm a retired therapy rat handler, which means I used to take one of my rats to libraries and kids just like you would read to them. Today I'm going to read one of my favorite books, IQ Goes to School. I think both you and Wyatt will really enjoy it. Wyatt is my pet rat who loves to read. I'm very excited. Okay. IQ Goes to School by Mary Ann Frazier. September. IQ came to school on the first day. Children, said Mrs. Ferber, the teacher, this is IQ. He is our class pet. But IQ didn't want to be a class pet. He wanted to be a student. Every day he watched and listened. When Mrs. Ferber read a book, IQ sat quietly with his hands in his lap. Some books made him laugh, and some made him cry, but he loved them all. Mrs. Ferber said everyone needed exercise. When the children went to recess, he ran, IQ ran on his wheel. Each Monday, Mrs. Ferber picked the student of the week. That student got to sit in a special chair and bring in things to share for the entire week. Mrs. Ferber picked Holly's name first. IQ wondered when it would be his turn to be student of the week. October. In October, the class learned the alphabet. When everyone went home, IQ hummed the alphabet song to himself. Then he didn't feel so lonely. During the last week of the month, the class cut out decorations for Halloween. IQ had trouble using scissors. He made his decorations out of tissues and string. November. In November, the class learned the names of all the colors in the rainbow. IQ tried to color his own rainbow. The crayons were too big, so he finger painted a rainbow instead. IQ had a small role in the Thanksgiving play. The night of the performance, he played his part with lots of emotion. At the end, he took a big bow. IQ still wondered when he would be student of the week. December. By December, IQ could count to 10 on his toes. 10 toes? I got those. Danielle, Tim, and Jonathan shared their different holiday traditions and talked about their plans for winter break. IQ worried that he would spend his, va his vacation all alone at school. But Mrs. Ferber asked who would like to take IQ home for the holidays. Nearly everyone ra raised their hands. Mrs. Ferber chose Stephanie, who was sitting quietly. IQ's vacation was everything he hoped it would be. January. After New Year's Day, Stephanie returned IQ to the classroom. He used the treats Alex sneaked to him to learn about more, equal, less, and zero. More, please! Writing was much harder to learn. Even though he practiced holding his pencil, his letters were very messy. February. In February, IQ made valentines for each of the other students, an extra special one for Mrs. Ferber. He was afraid the children might think he was the teacher's pet, so he didn't sign his name. IQ still hadn't been student of the week, and after learning about George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, IQ decided he wanted to be president when he grew up. Then he could have his own special chair and a desk to go with it. March. In 
March, the class studied shapes. IQ found more circles, squares, and rectangles in the classroom than anyone else. On St. Patrick's Day, the children found little green footprints all around the classroom. They thought leprechauns had come to visit. Mrs. Ferber had her own suspicions. Can I get a better view? April. By mid-spring, IQ could read hat, bat, and cat. For science, the class planted seeds to watch them grow. Class couldn't figure out why IQs never grew. He was eating the seeds. May. In May, the class went on a field trip to the zoo. IQ was not allowed to go. He thought it was because he did not have a signed permission slip. He was sure it was his turn to be student of the week, but by the end of the month, Mrs. Ferber still hadn't called his name. June. There was only one more week of school left. Maybe Mrs. Ferber forgot to put my name in the student of the week poll, thought IQ. He decided not to take any chances. On Monday, Mrs. Ferber reached into the bowl and pulled out a name. This week's student of the week is... Who do you think it's gonna be? Good thing, quiet. IQ? Finally, IQ had his turn to sit in the special chair and share with the class. On the last day of school, the class had a party. Then the children talked about their plans for summer vacation. IQ was worried. He didn't have any plans. Where is IQ going for the summer? The children asked. Miss Ferber smiled. I'll be working at a summer camp and IQ is going to be the camp pet. IQ already knew he didn't want to be the camp pet. What do you think he's going to want to be instead? He wanted to be a camper. Yeah! Camping sounds fun. Sign me up. Wasn't that a cute story? What I love about IQ is that he kept trying and didn't give up on his goals to be student of the week. And in the end, he managed to do just that. So what's the goal that you have, Wyatt? I want to try out all the yummy snacks. That's a good goal. I know you'll achieve it. So what about you? What kind of goal are you looking to achieve? Well, I hope y'all enjoyed our story. And I hope you have a great Read Across America week.